Jamie Foxx is going to come back to be Electro in Spider-Man 3, in uh, MCU Spider-Man 3. So, um, nothing, I mean, they can't really approach this at all without spoilers from Far From Home or Homecoming. So, if for whatever reason you haven't seen Spider-Man yet, don't watch this part. Um, but I'm, I'm excited, and I want to see what you guys think. Um, I'm excited on a couple of different ways. <clears throat> the first one is, uh, I don't know about y'all two, but when they said Jamie Foxx was going to be Electro in Amazing Spider-Man 2, I was like, what? That doesn't, I'm not, no, that's, that's not going to be right. At the time, I was like, nah, Jamie Foxx is better for like comedy stuff. And yeah. I don't know, like I, I couldn't see him as Electro at all. Um, and then when Sony did him up as Electro, I was like, okay, this is fine. Like, this is actually pretty good. Um, I don't have anything against Amazing Spider-Man 1 or 2. I thought it was fine, um, honestly. So taking that <clears throat> and then into um, different things, but the biggest one that I think about is how badass they made uh, Vulture look. I really want to see Electro under the uh, Marvel canvas, under the Kevin Feige canvas, just under the, you know, seeing yeah. what they're going to do with him. And then I'm also confused. I mean, I mainly want to talk about Electro, but I think a lot of people are going to get confused because, well, Jamie Foxx has already played Electro in a Spider-Man. And this isn't the same, as far as we know, the same Marvel Universe. And um, they do mention just for, I guess, all the Marvel nerds that are that are listening um, or watching. They do mention in one of the movies, I can't remember which one. No, it's in, um, it's in Spider-Man 2, actually. They mention that they're in Universe 616. But... Mr. Joe says it, so I don't know if that's canon or not, but 616 is like the main Marvel Universe. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, do you guys think they're going to start playing with multiverse? Um, I don't think so. I don't know. There's a lot to unpackage. So first, what do you guys think about Jamie Foxx as Electro? Go first, Manny, because I I, I might have, like, I'm going to go like deep into this. So I'm going to let you go first. All right. No, nah, I mean, mean hard. at first, at first I was like, what? Like, yeah, same thing. Like, I'm like, wait, but he already played Electro. So like, what, what's the point? Um, but then like, I just, I kept reading it. Like you sent me some articles too, like, um, and then I was reading more like different ones. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Like, I guess this could work. I mean, he's, he's, I mean, I felt like he did a pretty good job as Electro. I don't think, I don't think he was the problem in terms of that movie. I think it was just probably the writing if 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 that makes sense i don't know for me i i mean i like the first spider-man with andrew garfield but then the second one was like eh. um yeah but i mean yeah just the fact that i mean he already has experience in playing that 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 role to me it'll be it'll be awesome because it's like finally a way to introduce little by little the the sinister six if electra's yeah. gonna be in 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 that one because they already introduced vulture um and, and then scorpion. and scorpion yeah i mean it, this guy makes sense too i mean i'm all about it they can probably tease the multiverse um probably him possibly crossing over somehow there i mean they did it with jameson whether he's gonna be like the jameson going on forward or he's just like the jameson from another universe who the heck knows but i mean the fact that this is already they're bringing back like recurring actors from like previous movies I mean, I'm all about it, though. I'm kind of curious to see, like, what they're, what, what they're going to do with them. In my opinion, hopefully they make a new story for for Jamie Foxx and not just the one that he had with the previous movies. Just, like, redo his whole, his whole character settings. And then, just what did take he it from fall there. into a vat of eels or yeah. something in the second one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was that's like, nah, man. Form. Yeah. Hopefully they do that, <laughs> all, like, a lot better, man, to be honest. That, but that, That's the thing, man. Like, like the, the first time I heard this news, I was like, like what what is going on? But then, my, then my brain kind of click, uh, and 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 dude, they just they just it, this is this is genius and dangerous at the same time. They're just opening the door for multiverse. Like we know they're going th that round. We we kind of suspect suspect because of the, of, of Jameson coming out of Spider Man Two, uh, of the, that poster in Morbius uh, trailer, which is similar to Tobey Maguire. Mm -hmm. But now this is kind of cement that 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 route. Uh, and, and here's the thing, though, it, this is the reason why I think it's really clever. Uh, I know Sony's pushing to do the Sinister Six for a long time. I believe Faggy wants to participate in that as well. Uh, so the, I believe the easiest way for movie studios to do this is just, hey, we're gonna open the multiverse. What characters do we need that we don't want to do an introduction or an origin story of? 
Then you have th guys like Electro, boom. You don't need an introduction story. You already know. I mean, you just talked about the eel, so it's already out there. You just basically made any excuse to bring him over to this universe. Bam, you got, you got Electro from Sinister Six ready to go. And you can do the same with Alfred Molina. You can do the same with, uh, who else is the Sinister Six? Oh, maybe Green Goblin, if they want to incorporate him there. I don't know yeah. if it's there, but maybe. They can bring back, yeah. And, and you have all those characters already developed. You just have to make the multiverse excuse. Here we go, all are together, Sinister Six. And you save yourself so much time and so much money and just give the customers the meat. It's, it's smart. Now for the regular consumer though, I believe it's gonna be confusing. So will this pay off? That's my question there when it comes to You this. know what I think? So, I mean, if any, if, if, I mean, cause yeah, on a business standpoint, it's really smart if, if with Sony and Marvel holding hands over Spider-Man, but also if any series is gonna do multiverse well, it's gonna be Spider-Man. We've already seen it in Spider-Verse, which yeah. did incredible. Mm -hmm, that's um, great. And I don't think, I mean, I think even kids now, I mean, at least, at least by the time they're teenagers are gonna, their parents are going to introduce them to Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. They're going to come across Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. They're going to come across Spider-Verse. Um, they're going to play the Spider-Man games. Yeah. He's just too big. I mean, he wields too big of a superhero um, belt, like whatever you want to call it. So it's going to be messy. I mean, I, if they do it, which yeah. uh, I also think there's a very good chance they're not going to do it. And they just thought, hey, you know what? Jamie, Jamie Foxx fits this role. And it's going to confuse people and people are going to talk about it on podcasts and it's going to make us sell more tickets and we're just going to use them again. Because it multiverse is going to be messy even with it being Spider-Man. But, yeah, but, but think about it. Pandemic hitting Hollywood super hard. So they, they don't have time. Like right now, every, every project, every single project has been postponed. So multiverse better than ever makes a lot of sense to Hollywood. And then it looks like a quick, like a, like a full frontal response to what DC is doing uh, with Flashpoint. So, so I don't think this is a coincidence. I think it's a direct response. I believe they're gonna go dive into this. Who better character, like you said, Chris, than Spider-Man, which puts put asses on seats when it comes to, to theaters. Yeah. Um, it's just that, I, I, I don't know, man. It, like you said, like you said, I'm gonna use your words. It, it's, it's gonna get messy. Will people be able to follow up all that shit? Because to me, and, I, and I'm, a, I'm a fan of, of all these things, sometimes gets a little bit complicated, specifically, especially when like looking at comics and I see all these characters like mash, mashing and beating each other up. It, it, it becomes hard to follow. So I, I don't know where this is going. Like, I, I, I mean, I don't know what to think. I, I think it's great. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Will this pay out? Will this be successful? I don't know. Will this be a flop? Possibly. So it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that this is going to go great, but I'm concerned that they're going to mess everything up and then we're going to be able to, oh my God, they just, everything is like a scramble eggs. We don't know where, where this starts, where this ends. I don't know. What do you think, Manny? Like, it's a bit of a gamble. I mean, in terms of, in terms of Marvel, I mean, granted the new, the new Doctor Strange movie isn't a pretty much partaken in the, yeah. in the multiverse. So that's probably what we'll end up seeing possibly characters popping up from from the woodworks and then that what is the uh, official title i'm forgetting i think it's the the doctor Strange. i think it's the the, the master master of universe or something yeah something and like i don't that. know if you guys heard but that movie was delayed until 2022 yeah so yeah. it's like the, the movie was supposed to come out after one division like, it wasn't gonna be one division yeah. which kind of also have some concept like that mm -hmm. and then right after that uh, was Strange. gonna be Doctor Strange movie. That one goes super delayed, like extremely delayed. And apparently the Spider-Man uh, 3 is gonna come before that one. So I believe pretty much you're gonna get introduced to this multiverse through Spider-Man. Yeah. And basically that means that they might bring Toby, Toby Maguire into the into the fold. They might bring Andrew Garfield yeah, into the so fold. They can, have they can like bring Spider-Verse. They can bring everybody into the fold. They can also cast a Mike Morales, Miles Morales and bring it over. Like this could be like, like a Avengers Spider-Man movie. I need to believe Disney need, needs this like like right now. Because they gotta, uh, they gotta put that on. They gotta they gotta sit down and like take their time with that one. Like seriously though, because I mean that's we could. I mean it's it'll be dope if they do it, but they gotta. I think have this is desperate, man. Though. 
I don't know. I'm scared. I had another. I had another thing with um, just talking from a business standpoint, and then talking like logistics and contracts and everything. Is Tom Holland only has two more movies that we know in his contract um, officially. One would be this one, which would be Spider Man Three, mm-hmm. and then it's probably safe to assume he makes an appearance in Venom Two. Um, but beyond that, uh, I mean, he's like a. He's like a, he's like a, like Sony and Marvel got a divorce, but they're still on good terms for the kid, you know, and they're yeah. both just borrowing Tom Holland because he's just <laughs> such a good Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. But what I, so with, they're just bringing Electro in now, Spider-Man seems to go in threes. Tom Holland is out of a contract. Well, allegedly, at least to the public, out of a contract after this. Um, Electro is not really a final villain. Like, he's not, like, the final bad guy. Like, that's going to be Venom or Carnage or something. So, if, I, I mean, how big of a role is Electro going to play, just in terms of the movie itself? Um, is Spy- I mean, are they just going to kill Tom Holland? And uh, the kid, that, Donald Glover talks about having a nephew in, in Queens or something, and that's, and then in the credits, he's listed as um, somebody morale is. So, are they going to make Miles take his place? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it... it I might have a theory, but sure. this is a theory. This is this. I mean, this. Ha- I haven't read any of this, but I believe if Doctor Strange got delayed, and we're gonna kick off this multiverse with Spider-Man Three, I believe Electro's powers will have something to do with opening those doors to the oh. whatever multiverse. Again, this is this is a theory. Uh, I don't know. Maybe something's gonna happen with electricity. Blah 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 blah. Doors opens. And when they open those portals or whatever they want to open, maybe Dr. Octopus comes from there. Maybe Tobey Maguire starts swinging out of there. Maybe, um, I don't know, uh, Green Goblin goes out of there. We see Willem Dafoe again. Who knows? This the can holes. go super <laughs> wild. This and then Alfred Mar- Molina, man. They're going to be so old. Like, his, Dr. Alfred Molina's octo arms are going to have kings in each thing. <laughs> He's going to be that, that, that old dude. It's I don't true. know if they follow the same timeline, man. That's why I included Will and the Foe, because I know Will and the Foe is there, but I don't know if it's going to be the same timeline or or maybe that's going to happen before Toby avoid the 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 you know the the, the final blow and he's yeah. not dead so who knows like many so many things can happen and they can pick up the story whatever whatever timeline point they want that that is just open so open for speculation which i adore and love because this gave us content but i'm just concerned about the the end result of the movies but i believe maybe electra will, will play a big part on on how this starts that that's that's my guess I think that this might be how they introduce X Men or Fantastic Four into the MCU oh, yeah. again. Like if they if they introduce whatever multiverse and then they roll credits and then Wolverine walks out at the end. Oh my! And God. it's Hugh Jackman again because they gave him a billion dollars or whatever. <laughs> and, like, and he's like jacking up, and we don't know about it. Yeah, Who knows, it's, man. Who knows? Uh, they could do it, and everyone Deadpool. would be happy. Yeah, they they still. I mean. Well, Ryan Reynolds is it was killing it as Deadpool. Although I don't yeah. think, I don't think they should put Deadpool with any other characters except for X Men. That that will get very messy. We need yeah. we need a Deadpool with Wolverine at so at some point because yeah, make that feud, on its own. Their feud on Instagram is so funny that they need to be together <laughs> in the movie, man. I agree. <laughs> um, yeah, there's 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 a lot. Uh, Spider Man is pretty infinite like that. It's funny that him in his own little you know just in his subsection of new york in the whole giant marvel universe is somehow larger than life larger you know so much bigger than the whole marvel universe combined yeah um spider-man's just everywhere i mean even right now with there's spider-man the playstation game did incredible and now they're remastering it for playstation 5 and now there's another one miles morales coming out playstation 5 yeah um there's probably some spider-man stuff on on tv doing well i don't know he's it He's sells. I, I believe okay. it was a good move by Feige just to make, I mean, if, if this is what they're thinking and they're actually going to introduce the multiverse with Spidey, I think it was a good move. It's the best character for that. It's the most popular Avenger right now. You know what I was, re- yeah. this is a little off topic, but just, well, I was remembering in the car the other day, I was trying to think of like the, the coolest like superhero movie moments, just stuff that really makes me smile. And I was thinking about the trailer for Civil War when fucking Spider when Iron Man calls Spider Man out and nobody knew that Spider Man was going to be in the Marvel universe at all, and then we thought he was still tied to Sony. And then yeah. he just uh, underoos and he just gets on top of the car. 
dude, I lost my, I thought it, I might've passed out, dude. And that, <laughs> yeah, just, just a side thing, but man, Marvel. Uh, that Mar- was, that was amazing. That was, that was a good way Genius. to introduce him for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we'll see how this plays out, man. I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm kind of hoping they. I mean, multiverse is a tricky thing to to, to play with, man. Especially nobody on the has Marvel. done it before. Nobody nah. has done it before, so this can go anyway. Yeah, and, and and it's actually kind of sort of confirmed already with Venom two having, uh, it ke- um, the hell is the name of Vulture? Um, Age, um, Adrian, Adrian Toomes, or yeah, um, the um, actor Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton, yeah. With Michael Keaton being in Venom 2, no, and being in Morbius, and then Venom 2 around the around the corner, um, and then the posters of Spider-Man that look very much like current Spider-Man in, in uh, Morbius. I mean, I just feel like that's a dead giveaway. They're, they're gonna do it. <laughs>